Hey, what's up, everybody? It's finally time for me to show you guys Amplitude settings. Uh, so sorry it took so long. It's just I have all these custom ones that I've been doing over the years. And it's just, uh, you know, it's sometimes it was one thing or one thing was another. But each guitar sounded different with the presets. Anyway, long story short, I got the best preset for, like, overall tone. And this is the one you guys have been asking for. I can make videos of the other presets as well. But this is the one that's going to be more like a versatile and more like compatible with every single type of guitar, you know, pickup or whatever. So I named it System of a Down just because uh, so I could see it easier. But so let me show you the preset. Now, I have Amplitude 4. I don't have Amplitude 5. So if you're on Amplitude 5, you're going to have to figure out how to come, you know, just translate it basically. Uh, so you're on your own right there. But I mean, I'm going to show you the settings and all that stuff. And then you could translate it however you can. But for Amplitude 4 users, if you have Amplitude 4, you're solid. Just follow everything I'm going to do. And I'm going to go into detail. And I'm going to make it kind of quick. So that way you guys, you know, you guys can pause and, you know, type in the setting, whatever. That way the video doesn't drag on, you know. And uh, MIDI setup, this is basically what I have. So, I, a, so, you know, all that input one, all that good stuff. Now, for the preset, you're going to want to make sure that you are on one. Like if you end up clicking one of the, I don't know exactly what these do, but if you end up clicking it and making it on one of these other ones, it's going to be weird. It will make it sound like a little different. Uh, I didn't touch anything from here. So you're going to want to set it on one, right? It's going to be, you know, this a mono in and all that for tuner. That's basically nothing. I left it the way it is stop. So now here you go. Here's what I got. Now you can see the value down here. When I click on like the setting, you know, you see what you could just click it and type it in. So you could pause the video and type it in and you know, all that good stuff. So I'm going to click each each and every one of them so you can see the value and you can type it in correctly to get the exact like preset down. So for the six band EQ, it's basically those are all the values that I got. And then now for the for the equalizer, I got the frequencies, you know, the width gain, the frequency width gain for the mid and then for the low frequency width gain and then gain and then, you know, this is going up now for the filter, it's just at 40. And then this is that fast. And then this is, of course, a 5.3. Now, you want to make sure the exact routing is the way it is right here. You're going to go stop B. I got nothing there. For amp A, you know, this is what it is. It's the Daryl head. Reverb, pr presence, bass, middle, treble, master, gain. And then also for these bottom ones down here, because sometimes uh, I, I do change these sometimes. But just in case, this is what I got. Now these are blacked out, so I can't really click them, but now it's going to go to insert. I don't use anything for amp B, but just in case, you know, just in case for some reason it affects it for some reason. There you go. You got all these little settings and stuff like that. And now we're going to go to insert a, just the flanger doubler, you know, for insert B, nothing. Cause I don't even go through these down here. And then for cab a, cause it's going to go down here. Cab a, that's what I got. I got the Daryl, the four twelve. And here's the the values for all these. And you can just type these in. Makes it so much easier. And then now this is where this is where all the tone basically comes together. This is where it gets like a little a little crazy because I just stacked the fuck out of it. So I'm gonna start off with the first one. I would recommend that you know you once you do one rack, you're gonna go ahead and click save because like so if, for instance if I see how I move these right. Oh shit. 
I forgot what I did. Oh my God. You could just click the arrow down and go back up and it doesn't save it automatically. So every time you do one, click save. Cause sometimes like if you mess up or you go back or you accidentally move or whatever and you're like, oh shit, you know? So now this is where the tone starts to come all together. I just added a bunch of parametric EQs just to like stack and stack until I got that live sound that I wanted. Cause Grady did an amazing job, like getting that dime bag sound down and nailed in. But I just wanted that live, you know, that, what is it called? The 101, the Moscow, you know, type of thing. So I just stacked it. And so I'm going to go ahead and just click these and you see the values and, you know, do a type of them and whatnot. Make sure you save it after you do each rack. Cause you know, for instance, if I moved all these, like, oh shit, there goes my preset. Oh fuck. No, you know, you see how it has a little star. That means it's been moved or edited. So if I want to go back to what I had originally, if I already saved it, I just go down and go back up and it doesn't, it doesn't like save it automatically for you, which is great. I don't know about amplitude five, but amplitude four, that's what it does for the first one. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and click on them and you can go ahead and pause the video and you know, type everything in. But I mean, this, this preset, if you guys love it, let me know or if you guys like it, or if you guys hate it, you know, just let me know what you guys think. Like I said, this preset is, is like one of the, the best ones I have and works great for all the guitars that I have. So if you want to, you know, videos of the other presets that I have, I'll make a video of each one, which the way each one sounds, if you guys want, it's just, I have so many cause it's just years of presets stacked up. And then for the last, the digital delay, you know, it's off. I have it off. Cause you know, if I just going to play solo, just click it on, but I always have it off. And then this is, you know, just on modes right here, delay time, feedback, filter, mix level, input threshold, you know, all this good stuff. Now that's the dime bag uh, sound preset that I got going. Let me know how you guys like it. Uh, comment on the video. If you guys want to see all these other ones, if you guys do, I can make videos of those too. But anyways, appreciate you guys much love. Get your pool. Godspeed.